Well, I've tried all my 27 megahertz transmitters and none of them are going to talk to that receiver. And looking through my scrap box, I found another receiver that looks absolutely identical. And I think I've come across this before. And what I've done is just swapped it out for a different receiver that does work. And if I'm going to do that, I'm thinking I might as well swap it out for a proper hobby grade receiver. So easiest way to do that is to put suitable plugs on the motor leads so that we can just plug an ESC straight into it so we'll have control of the forwards backwards motor and also the steering motor so I think that's what I'll do I'll upgrade it to hobby grade it won't be as good as hobby grade because it's still using the existing motors um, the steering will still only be full left and full right because even though we can use proportional control on the ESC the motor will just go all the way one way or all the way the other way it will just go slower or faster if that makes any sense so that's what I'll do I'll put some I think they're JST leads and plugs straight onto the motors and put it all back together with a couple of ESC's in it and a hobby grade 24 megahertz receiver. I've just taken the plastic cover off the motor so we'll unsolder those two wires and solder on this lead which looks like it will be plenty long enough Might be a good idea to feed the wires through there first. Just tin them to protect them. through a bit of tubing I haven't really got enough space to show you, but 
There's the hobby grade receiver, one of my Fly Sky receivers. There's the ESC. And over in my hand over here I've got my transmitter. So that's okay, except that I've just noticed it's going backwards when I'm pressing forward. So I'll swap those wires over again and then we should be okay. So that's the forwards backwards done. Now we're looking at the steering motor. This one. So we can unsolder those wires. So that's our steering, for which we want the other ESC. So this should be our left right now. final thing to do is take the old receiver off and if we're going to use the batteries that are in there which is five one and a half volt batteries seven and a half volts so that's the equivalent to a 2s lipo I should be able to connect another one of these JST leads negative to negative and positive to the switch. Now at the moment we can have a lot more wire floating around than we actually need. I'll leave it all long so we can trim it at a later date. Mm, that little soldering iron struggling there. Oh no, it's done it. Right, we're, we're using two ESCs, so I've actually got this lead that will take the battery to both ESCs in parallel. So it plugs into there. That ESC can plug into there. Power lead into there. Power lead into there.
Right, so that's our hobby grade receiver, two ESCs, power them both on, transmitter on, just lift that up in case it starts running. Okay. So we've got the steering and so I'll try and tuck it all in neatly, put it all back together and see if we've got a hobby grade radio control quad bike. When I say hobby grade, we're only talking about the transmitter and receiver. We're not talking about upgrading the motor or the servo. Bit of a squeeze, but I've managed to push the receiver and the ESCs up inside the plastic motor. Because otherwise I've got rather a lot of wires hanging around here. I said I was leaving all the wires long. Well, that's one of the problems with leaving all the wires long. You've got a lot of wire to hide away. I might just put a bit of sticky tape over that temporary just to hold it all in place.